More now on last night's volatile debate in South Carolina. We're looking at the confrontation from a Catholic point of view and helping us to do that is St. John's University political expert Brian Brown. Brian, thanks for joining us. And the topic of racial injustice came up last night among the candidates and the U.S. bishops have long fought against racism and in their videos on faithful citizenship highlighted bringing justice to victims of racism. Do you think the candidates have any real plans on racism? Well, uh, they were examining their record, and for someone who's been in office a long time, like Joe Biden, mm -hmm. whose numbers s seem to be holding in South Carolina, he has a record to stand on. Others, like Mayor Pete, who are not as experienced and have some questions about where their strength is when it comes to African American voters. All right, another thing they talked about was gun control. Again, the bishops have spoken on this, and after the shooting in Dayton, Ohio, last August, they said in a statement, the conference has long advocated for responsible gun laws and increased resources for addressing the root causes of violence. We also call upon the president and Congress to set aside political interests and find ways to better protect innocent life. Now, Senator Bernie Sanders, in particular, was targeted a lot for his votes on gun rights. Do you think he can achieve more gun control? Well, he was taking some hits for votes from 30 years ago, and he was quick to defend that time frame. But this is an issue that Democrats and Republicans, everybody should really be able to come together. And we haven't seen that political will in Washington, D.C. Perhaps after the election, when things settle down, we'll see movement. But right now, it's a lot of platitudes. All right. One interesting thing last night, the candidates, um, a lot of them had a few professions of faith. So let's listen in. Why am I stopping? You, no one else stops. Okay. <laughs> okay, sir. That's my Catholic school training. <laughs> my motto, every day I write a cross on my hand to remind myself to tell the truth and do what's right, no matter what. My motto ties in directly to this. It's Matthew 25. And that is, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of these, the least of thy brethren, ye have done it unto me. For me, this is about how we treat other people and how we lift them up. My disciplines are, are guided by the mottos I try to live by, many of which come from scripture. All right, according to Pew Research Center, 78% of adults in South Carolina are Christian. So do you think this was just a bid for election or an actual show of their faith? Uh, I don't know if I'll <laughs> question their sincerity, but I think many of them did express, um, you know, their faith perspectives in different ways and unique ways to appeal to voters of faith and, and all voters. Uh, Joe Biden had his little Catholic school reference, which, you know, we kind of got. Uh, Mayor Pete spoke about uh, his own faith perspective, as did others. But I think what's important to note is that Voters of faith, like all voters, share a lot of the same pragmatic issues, and these are the kind of issues that we should be talking about during the campaign. And last night's debate did not do anything to elevate the political discourse. It was unruly, it was ugly, and um, if they have faith, you needed faith to get through that. <laughs> A lot of get, chaos. Get through that <laughs> event last night. That's yeah. right. All right. There was a recent poll out by EWTN that showed who Catholics would vote for in a general election if it happened today. The highest percentages were for Biden and Sanders. Do you think they can win South Carolina and then looking forward to Super Tuesday? Well, Biden is holding right now. Yeah. Uh, his numbers are continually declining, but he's holding firm. Uh, we'll see. He's put a lot of resources into his uh, voting effort in South Carolina. Uh, the Sanders angle from a Catholic perspective would be interesting. I think we, people still have to get to know him better. And right. when there's a real thorough examination of his record, uh, that may not be so favorable uh, for Senator Sanders. Oh, boy. Well, we'll have to wait and see. St. John's University's political professor, Brian Brown, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.